this morning I got this idea that I should read my 18 VDC converter right from mains so there's the main cable coming in from 110 and this is the 18 and it's plugged into this battery here but uh, what I wanted to do was take a reading so I put the a plus clip wire and a minus clip wire on here and then I put them onto my multimeter I was testing a theory out and I wanted to know what the reading is of this actual box itself and to my surprise well I think my clip came under did it something came off oh yeah the black clip came off to my surprise It says 14.81. This is supposed to be 18 uh, VDC on this box, but it's giving me 1481, so it's short. So there you go. I didn't know this. So if you have a drill that's 14.5, 14.5 volts, which I think some people have, they're a little bit an oddity, but some people do have them, it'll work on this. Um, 18 volt 20 amp converter. How about that for a surprise? Right? So I did that. I got this reading. I'm going to turn this off. And I thought to myself, well, if it's only 14 volt, and my friend, who's um, Peter, is an electrical engineer, says to me, you can go over voltage on uh, some on a units. With some voltage, I thought, wow, can you imagine if I can go over voltage and include various drills on one converter? So I have this 18 volt in the shop, and I've wired up little little connectors so I can switch over, and now I can put on this 12. Now you say, oh, well, you put one drill in the other, but that's 18 volt, and this is 12 volt. So we've actually solved our problem of having one converter and multiple drills on it. So you can power a 12 volt, a 14 and a half volt, and an 18 volt. So there you go. And you haven't got this, you haven't got this lack of power. That's at, that torque is at uh, 10. Let's go up to 18. You don't have a lack of power in this. Let's go all the way to 22, which I don't want to hold. I can't hold it. So let's go to 19. I can barely hold that. That's really hard to hold. Anyways, so there you go. So what we've done is we've solved our problem with using drills as motors. You just get your adapter. You put, either you can put it in here, connector, or you can put a connector at the end of a cable. I decided to run one cable instead of running a whole pile of cables back and forth from each drill and each machine I use for each drill I use for different machines. I adapt them for a wire brush, bench wire brush, and, I'll, and I'm adapt, trying to adapt one for a lathe right now. So all I have to use is this, this box for everything. So there you go. That's the issue finished. Now, some people hitch them up and they put 12 volt, 6 amps, or 5 amps. There isn't enough power in the 5 amps, 6 amps to make your 12 volt drill operate properly. You need to have power and um, torque so you can drill in screws or whatever you want to do. So this is the solution to all that. So I've been at this for quite a few months, but happily I've come to a really good conclusion this morning and I'm really pleased with it. Thanks for watching. Go save a drill from the dump. 12 volt, 18 volt. Yes.